Hey guys, in today's video, I want to tell you what my inspiration is in tennis. And it's not playing tennis. Back when I was younger, it was. I wanted to be a professional tennis player. But now that I'm old, it is not playing tennis. It is teaching tennis. Now, a lot of you guys often ask me, Nick, don't you want to be a professional coach, meaning coaching a professional player and traveling all over the world and being on TV? Isn't it the highest possible way uh, to be involved in a tennis teaching industry? And no, that is absolutely not something that interests me at all. What I want to do in tennis, teach at the grassroots level, meaning that my favorite thing to do in tennis is to teach absolute beginners. And some of you guys might be thinking, Nick, why would you want to coach beginners? Isn't that boring? Well, it's absolutely not boring. It is for me the most exciting thing because I know that I can have the most impact as a coach if I teach at the lowest level. Think about it this way. If I was to coach an elite level player or even a high level player, it would mean that I would have very little impact when it comes to that player's technique. Those type of players are already developed. There's not much that you can help them when it comes to technique. And players like that do need help. Don't get me wrong. Coaches are important when it comes to those high level players, but the help is often a more from a mental standpoint and more helping them with their all around life, helping them with sparring partners, helping them getting their rackets drunk, uh, being a companion to the player. All these things are really important that the player performs well. But the impact a coach has on a player like that is very small. The biggest impact a tennis coach can have is on a player that doesn't know how to play the game. So when I coach a beginner, I can get that beginner, let's say from uh, no level whatsoever, to a decent level 4.0 and i've gotten some beginners even to the 5.0 level uh, that is a huge satisfaction for me because i know i was directly involved in that process my impact is by far the greatest that i can have and this can be uh, junior players or adult players they're equally as important and think about it this way even the greatest players of all time they started as beginners so this type of tennis coach that is teaching at the grassroots level, at the entry level is unbelievably important whether we're talking about coaching juniors or adults. And you might be thinking, aren't adults kind of a hopeless case? Uh, they're old and they can't get any better. They can't turn pro and all that. Uh, it's true to some extent that someone that starts tennis at a later age in life doesn't have a chance of becoming pro, but everybody has a legitimate chance of reaching a high recreational level, let's say 4.5, or in some cases, players are even able to reach the 5.0 level. But that is not why it's so important that we teach the recreational level. It's the recreational adult level that keeps the tennis game alive. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's those adult recreational players is who is watching tennis on TV. It's also who is buying the tennis gear that's sold all over the world. And it's also who's buying tennis tickets to go watch professional players at tournaments. So that's the answer, guys. I'm not very interested in being a tour coach, I feel my impact there is a lot smaller than the impact I'm having on my recreational players and especially the adult recreational players because that is the most difficult job that you can find as a tennis coach. It is not so hard to coach, for example, Serena Williams, but if you, let's say, have an unathletic, untalented adult recreational player who wants to get better at tennis, that is a really difficult task to improve that player's tennis game. And that is what I pride myself on. I like the tough cases. It's not for me so exciting to coach a super talented junior. I want the hard cases. I want to help guys out that are struggling with tennis. And that is my inspiration and that is what I'm dedicating my life to. And some of you guys know that my dad was a tennis coach. It was a big inspiration to me and he sadly passed away this summer and I'm still very much grieving over that tough loss. But my dad, just like me, was more focused on the adult recreational level and the junior recreational level and not so much at the high level or the elite level because he, just like me, felt like that was the most rewarding type of tennis job because he, just like me, was directly responsible for the player's improvement. Now, my dad could have easily gone the route of coaching elite level players because he was the head coach of the Yugoslavian junior team and on his team was Monica Selic and he also coached Goran Ivanishevic until he was 14 years old. But he decided not to go that route because he knew ultimately that there was more reward, there was more satisfaction when coaching at the grassroots. For example, developing a junior or an adult player from the beginner stage to the advanced stage. There is nothing better for a tennis coach because as a tennis coach you know you're directly responsible for the students improvements now at the elite level somebody develops 
high level players there's no doubt about it but at a certain point these elite level players are already developed and there's only so much that you can help them with so there you have it guys that's my answer of why i'm not interested in coaching the professional level or the high level in general because i feel in life there's nothing better than helping others and i find that i can do that the best when coaching at the recreational level just like my dad did his whole life and he managed to do this until the very end and you can see the true passion in his eyes you can see how much enjoyment he got out of teaching my daughter in the following clip very good, very good, very good. Very good. Very good. Come on, go, 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 go. Very good. More, this was good. Six. Seven. Walk it, please. Which side? One is good. Two. Walk it, please. Three. <laughs> the string is broken. Oh no. Again. You're hitting hard. Hardest you've ever hit in your life, I think. <laughs>